All right, welcome to day 22. Today's topic is repeat. Okay, you're like, Dara, we did echoing. What is, what is the difference? Okay, tell me. What is the difference? What's the difference between echoing and repeat? Okay, so think about it. They're, they're different things. Now, there's a really great podcast. I'll link it below. But it's called The Compound Effect by Brooke Castillo. And she gave a story about how for many, many months, she did this yoga class. And she was able to do all these amazing things in her yoga, but then I think she moved or something happened, the studio, the, uh, the yoga studio closed or something. And so she wasn't, wasn't able to attend, I think for like one month or something. And she thought, oh no, I'm, I'm really good at yoga. I've been doing it a long time. So then she had to go to a new yoga studio and she was not capable of doing the things that she had done in the past. So it got me thinking about the things that I do every day, and then if I stop doing them, the effect that it has, I'm not able to do the same things. And because we're out of practice. So I really want to encourage you, we're on day 22. And it's interesting that it's repeat. So we're repeating and we're learning how to practice a new skill. And just that act of showing up every day and, and doing the action of training our brain to think of new things, to holding a pen, to putting it on the paper, and to allowing ourselves to draw, that compound effect is going to have dramatic effect on your ability to do free motion quilting. You're gonna have so much more fun because you're like, oh, that's right, when I was doing the water, I had thought about this, or when I was doing the circles, I had figured out this idea. And then the muscle memory that's happening because of this you're going, it's going to help you to when you, well, that's, that's going to translate when you do your quilting. I'm so excited you're, you're doing this. And I mean, it's, it's, you're doing it for yourself. Like I already know how to do free motion quilting, but this is my encouragement to you to get to that skill level that you want to. And this is the perfect start. There's so much more, but look at what you've done so far. I'm so pleased that you're on this journey with me and I'm so excited to see the difference between when you first started and when, you, when you're gonna finish in the 31 days. And I encourage you even after that to keep going on this. You will not regret it. Growth is challenging, I hear you. There's still designs where I'm like, ah, it doesn't quite look the way I want it in my head. I'm still practicing. I'm still working on those things. And you know, after this 31 day challenge, we are then able to move further in making all those fun designs that are that joined together and all of that. And we're gonna get more into that as we go. When we talk, when we, there's even the last two days, we talked about designing elements. How do we do that? How do we put those together? All right, thanks so much for joining me. I can't wait to see what you come up with for repeat. And I will see you tomorrow for day 23. And don't forget to hashtag Dara Doodle Challenge. See you tomorrow.